Uh, listening to that news piece in EWN on the indictment readout or the uh, prosecution's heads of argument in the case against Jocelyn Smith's mother and uh, now three other accused. And the more I live in South Africa, the more I realize that the most cruel, the most heinous, the most violent towards us and children in particular are the people known to us it's the people that we live with that we generally care about heck maybe even love that um, delivers the harshest blows when it comes to violence and criminality just reading through the state's case here according to the state's summary of substantial facts in august last year 2023 Kelly Smith communicated her plan to have her son and daughters taken away or sold. The plan was for this to happen in January or February, the state alleges, on the 18th of February, the day before Jocelyn's disappearance. um, Kelly Smith and Jocelyn had walked to a white car that was parked near to their shack. The state says an unknown female person alighted from the vehicle and conversed with Smith. This woman handed something to her. And then Kelly and Jocelyn Smith then returned to their home. Later during the day, the other accused, Apollos von Rain Smith and Lombard, discussed the plan and how the money would be divided. Smith is said to have told Jocelyn and her brother that they would not go to school that day. And then later during the same day, Kelly arrived at the home. She took Jocelyn and the bag she had packed earlier and they left the house on foot. Kelly and Jocelyn got into a white motor vehicle that drove away. And then Kelly had started looking for Jocelyn that night and reported her missing. I remember that particular night. It was the 24th of February because we had then received an Amber Alert and was quite interesting because we do not receive many Amber Alerts from the South African Police Service. So that night, the 25th, we and other media had received an Amber Alert. And on this Amber Alert was also the number for Kelly Smith. We on the show on the morning of the 25th of February then spoke to Kelly Smith here on this radio show. And this is what she told us. I saw Jocelyn the time when I went home around about lunchtime um, two days ago. Uh, that was 12 o'clock the afternoon. I went home quickly to go fire, fetch something at home and then went back to my workplace. Jocelyn was still playing at home. Then she, she was playing in the water. She got out of the water and she did put on a light blue t-shirt with, a, say, a three-quarter denim short and some flackers. So it was not tied up. It was loosened. But um, that's the last time that I saw my child. And who was the last person from, from the family or someone in the street that saw her at around about 12 o'clock? Kelly? Um, the last person at that time was me and my boyfriend. Okay. But um, round about, we, we found some, not evidence, we talked to people and they said that they saw Jocelyn around about 7 to 8 o'clock there in our area. Seven. They saw her walking with a boy. Seven, eight and, o'clock at night. Yes. Okay, walking with someone in the area. It's a small boy, but we don't know who that boy is. We're still looking and searching for that boy so they can tell us what happened to my daughter. And the state says that is a lie. The state says that Kelly Smith colluded with others to sell her daughter. And look, as a presenter who often has to speak to victims of crime and the families of victims of crime, I extended my wholehearted empathy for what a mother must be going through at that time. But gosh, I don't feel betrayal. Jocelyn Smith is the one who is allegedly betrayed by her mother because the state now says, detailing its case, that there was a conspiracy 
with Kelly Smith and the other accused that she went out and she sold her child. Gosh. One of the four accused, um, Larisha Lombard, is understood to have turned state witness. Her case or the charges against her has now been withdrawn. And now it's three accused who stand in the dock, including Kelly Smith's mother. And again, I stress the cruelest, the most heinous and the most violent towards us, especially our children, are the people they know, people they live with, and the people, in all intents and purposes, that they love. Definitely going to be keeping an eye out on this court case.